This world was once the stage of a struggle for survival that dwarfed this current predicament. The world was an unseemly place, though glimpses of beauty persisted. What should people live for? Who should they live for? They live for themselves. To harbor desires and struggle to realize them. The Manado. It's the only sword that's effective against the mech on armor. They say that before time began, it was wielded by the Bionis. The same Bionis that we all live on. So another has appeared with the ability to wield the Monado. But why would Zanza release the Monado? He surely knows it would become a double-edged sword. Yet he relinquishes it to that mere child. It's just... Just what? I'm done. Dead? When I became the driver of the Aegis, her driver, I felt like I could do anything. I have to protect Fiora. Fiora? Is that my name? I can talk all right. And I got a good memory. Fiora, get out of there. Get out. <laughs> dreams were music to my ears. My claws slid right through her soft flesh. Our world was not the only one. Endless universes coexist, side by side, yet all completely unaware of one another. The conduit was our link to these foreign worlds. And I opened that forbidden gateway, praying that it would change the world. But I was just kidding myself. All I've managed to do is hurt her. Again and again. Those guys are way out of my league. I can't beat them. It's hopeless. I understand that now. She'll be safe with them. They're not going to hurt her like I do. So I'm leaving. <gasps> I've just been kidding myself all along. Me, a driver. When I opened the conduit, many people and many things disappeared into distant dimensions. All that remained here were the ruins of Moritha and half of my body. This world was created by Lord Zanza, by the very Bionis itself. Then you things think you can just spring up all over the place. All life that is born from me must be returned to me eventually to complete the cycle. For me to continue my existence as before, then all must be restored to its former order. In other words, the destruction and recreation of the world. Nothing more to it. But I did not trust this world, born as it had been. What if it were to repeat our mistakes? What if someone like me appeared? To stave off these doubts, I implemented one final measure. And so the blades were born. Ontos, Logos, and Numa. The power you and Numa exercise is the conduit's power. It comes leaking out of some far-flung dimension. And it is a power we can know nothing about. I don't understand. Does being controlled by the Monado mean you will eventually become Zanza? The Monado is Zanza. Zanza is the Monado. The two are one and the same. In order to perpetuate the existence of his soul, Zanza inhabits beings of Bionis. But you appear to be different. What do you mean? I can see it. How well you retained a sense of self. Perhaps you can break the curse of Sansa. 
And was that not precisely our wish, Lady Mayneth?